Hello everyone, Jason here. I chose a story called America is Under Attack. It is by Don Brown. He's also the illustrator. The author is Flashpoint, copyrights 2011. It is true stories, um, six or 58 pages, and it's about six to 10 year old range, probably be good for this book. Um, the book does jump around a little bit because it's true stories. It talks about multiple things that happened on that day from multiple people, but it probably most closely follows a man by the name of Chief Pfeiffer, who was a captain in the New York Fire Department. Um, when the train, when the first plane struck the North Tower, the chief was out on a call already, and they happened to see the plane hit. Well, obviously, immediately, the chief sent his truck to the North Tower and went along with it. He immediately also knew that his unit wasn't going to be able to handle it, so they called and sent out pretty much an all-call for multiple more uh, fire and rescue crews to show up. Um, when when the chief arrived in the North Tower, obviously it was already burning. His brother was a lieutenant in the New York Fire Department and had arrived on scene also. He shortly talked to his brother that morning and talks about how his brother immediately rushed up the stairs to start saving people while the chief being the high-ranking officer at the time because they were the first to respond, stayed downstairs and started kind of setting up a command. Unfortunately, that would be the last time he would ever talk to his brother. His brother would perish in the collapse of the building. Um, a few minutes later, uh, as obviously another another plane would hit the south tower, and that was the point when people realized this wasn't an accident. Up to that point, everybody thought the first plane was an accident, and then they realized this was a terrorist attack. Um, the the south tower was actually the first one to collapse and Chief Pfeiffer was with his men or his command in the bottom of the North Tower in the lobby and they heard a loud rumble not sure didn't know what it was and they hid in the base of an elevator shaft and obviously I mean the windows were busted out and glass from the North Tower I mean there was just the North Tower the pressure of it falling just creates a huge debris field and at the time they weren't didn't even realize like it had never crossed their mind that the north that the other tower had just collapsed so a few minutes later unfortunately there was an all call sent out to evacuate the north tower because the south tower had already collapsed and there was a helicopter up top that was one of the pilots was saying he could see the the steel glowing orange and it was the aluminum and other things were like the melting of the building if essentially from and when the uh, call was sent out for everyone immediately to evacuate, unfortunately, some people didn't get it that were fire rescue people. Some people didn't just didn't realize the dire straits they were in. That they thought, well, we'll get out, but we got more time, and which cost a few extra lives on that day. Um, and there were some people that just knew they were knew they were going to be in trouble and stayed anyway to help. They said um, so. Chief Pfeiffer, after he found out his brother was dead, um, his his brother's remains weren't found till that February, and the chief was actually on scene when his brother's remains were found, and he said about it, uh, when his brother's remains were found, he said, not only did I get to see him going into the towers, but I also brought him out. And on this day, 2,996 people would lose their lives. Um, there's a lot of interactions in this book for kids that are really good um, about how to face adversity and how you can stay calm in the face of adversity. And another thing that this book does is the illustrations are good. I think they're not too gory, but they do a good job of showing the chaos. So I'll just show some here. This is like when the plane hit the first tower, a fireball came down the shaft, and this would have been people in the lobby. Um... This was talks about on the 88th floor how right by where the planes had hit and you can see people helping each other out. Somebody's getting out over here. There's a person underneath. There's a engineer that actually stayed there with the blueprints trying to figure out how to save lives and how to um, what could be done for the building. And that's what you're seeing in that one. Um, another one. This just talks real quick. It looked exactly like an avalanche coming down the street at you, a policeman said. 
It cleaved the neighborhood hotels in, in two. Cars flew through the air. Giant steel girders tumbled like toothpicks. We saw air conditioning ducts. We saw parts of buildings and newspapers and debris. In all the dust coming at us, a police captain said. The collapse generated a furious wind. One police officer was thrown from one side of the street to another. I was literally blown out of my shoes, she said. A monstrous, dirty cloud covered everything. Picture taking flour and sticking it up your nose and in your mouth. That's what breathing was like, said another officer. At the same time, I'm feeling the debris hitting my legs, hitting my ankles, hearing it pile up above me. And then there's just a picture of the officer getting blown off. And then this one here would be like a drawing of what the chief had described in the North Tower after the South Tower collapsed, where they couldn't see or couldn't, uh, couldn't do much. But all in all, this is a really good book for young kids. What I did was we kind of just came up with like a little timeline of events for them. So they could start really getting the timeline of what happened down. And then I put down on the next page, we put down a bunch of some discussion questions that we could talk about as a class as to what we learned and what happened that day. But no, this is a really good book for young children. Um, most None of these kids will have been alive when 9-11 happened, so I think it's something really good for them to start learning about, and and it, like I say, it does a really good job of depicting the what happened that day without being too gory for young kids, so that's another really good thing with this book.